let's try this then. <laughs> You're shooting nothing, man. I'm shooting nothing. It's not gonna affect anything. It's a shame that those guys can't take fall damage. Oh no! Hmm. Did I kill? Did I kill a friend? Hey, welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm Matt. I'm Austin. And we, after killing the Warlock, we immediately had a retaliation mission. They wanted to retaliate. Yeah, because we just <laughs> killed the Warlock. Mm -hmm. But I am bringing a new face with us. This is somebody that we got, because for some reason this game is letting me have three skirmishers. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. Because the max is two. <laughs> But hey, you know, I'm not gonna turn down another skirmisher. Yeah. Also, the grenade launcher mod I have, uh, skirmishers can use them, too. <laughs> okay! Not just the anarchist. Alright. Mm hmm So it's pretty neat. Yeah! Sky magic. Does that still let them fire two shots in a round? In position for yes. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm Just nuke everything. They don't get- they don't get a reload, though, so... Nah, just nuke everything. Just nuke everything. We don't need it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck the world. <laughs> Fallout's a pretty good game. Yeah? Depending on who you ask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, personally, I prefer Skyrim. Speaking of which, there's a mod we're probably never- or we're not gonna see since we're kinda getting towards the end of the game. I installed a Khajiit mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. But, uh, that's more or less for my next playthrough. Mm-hmm. His uh, personal playthrough. Yeah, my personal playthrough. Are you gonna make yourself a cat person? Oh, no, I'm not gonna make myself a cat person. I am gonna make an entire brigade of Khajiit, <laughs> though. Because you know what? A Khajiit wearing Advent helmets looks surprisingly good. Okay. Mm. Got the ears sticking out? Yeah, I got the ears sticking out, and... Yeah. I think it's funny how well some of these mods that were made by completely different people work so well together. Mm-hmm. I think, like... You know, if you're modding this game, you're really into this game, so you probably play with mods yourself. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Because this is more than double the average playtime, I would say, for you. Just because of mods. Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> hey, this lets me make skeletons. Better run it three times, see how it looks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Because, honestly, I've put so much time into this game, like, even before we did this YouTube. Yeah, just just a minute, I'd say. Yeah, just a minute. Just a single minute. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a guy I follow on YouTube? Yeah. Who, uh, he got a start on YouTube making machinimas, which was funny because he was doing it while he was a chemistry professor. Okay. Uh, and he has... 4,000 hours in Fallout 4. Oh, jeez. Just because he was trying to make machinimas. Okay, that's pretty neat. Mm hmm You know, actually that does... I forgot why my train of thought transitioned into this, but you've probably noticed. Mm -hmm. Our upload schedule's a bit different. Yeah! We're both busy boys. I gotta be moving pretty soon, so... Yeah, and, uh, I just got a new job that hates me, so... Yeah. Mm hmm So we're busy boys. Oh no, they're all clustered. Mm -hmm. It should be back to normal eventually. Eventually. It's just, you know, for the now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish that there was a better way to uh, put this on, but you have to have... You have to meet the monetization goal before you can get the community thing where you can... Just like say, hey, heads up. Yeah. Yeah, because like... Uh, anyways, I mean, this might just be me, but unless it's a YouTuber that I watch their videos the minute I see that they've uploaded, mm -hmm. I don't really watch their announcements. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, when scrolling through my feed, uh, just if something comes up, I'll look at who it is, and if I'm interested, I'll read it. Oh, I'm talking about, like, it, you know, in those videos where people are like, Alright, in this video, at the end of the video, we have an announcement to make. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's just them selling merch to you or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, people need to learn, you gotta front load your merch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, we got Lance with us. Hey, Lance! I thought you died. Yeah, but he survived the second time, so he's okay. fine. I thought he died twice. Nah. I should say. But he good. We all good in the hood. There's the Andromeda. Mm -hmm. 
Also, why are Andromedas so photogenic? <laughs> I don't know. Cause... I think it's because they're big monster. Mm -hmm. It's big monster! Mm -hmm. But honestly, like, for XCOM, my favorite thumbnail so far has definitely been the one where it's the Andromeda reveal in the fire. Mm -hmm. That's so good. It's pretty solid, yeah! Mm -hmm. As for my favorite thumbnails, I think River City Girls is, has got it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. I think Kevin really knocked it out of the park that time. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, I didn't bring Kevin on this one. I thought I did, but no. Mm -mm. I decided to bring a Viking boy, which I realized I only used on my own time because he was in a mission, so he actually hadn't had a proper introdu introduction either. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that reminds me. Uh, Kevin showed me his idea for yeah. the next video series. Yeah. And it looked really fucking good. Okay. I was worried when he asked the question, because, like, uh, what you answered and what I answered, I'm like, that can't look good together. No, it looks great. Okay. I'll wait to see what you do. You're a Valkyrie. Kevin is an artiste. He is an artiste. No, we did bring that guy on a mission. It's just he didn't do Jack. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I What? <laughs> That's who you wanted, right? Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> No, this is a good game. Yeah, I don't know, it might be the controller on that one. Eh, uh, yeah, it did the thing where you snatch back too fast and... Yeah. I don't know. Either way, she missed both shots anyways. Mm -hmm. That's XCOM. Yeah. Uh... Ooh, I had a burp right as I was trying to say something, I'm sorry. No, it's all good. You good? Yeah. So, uh, my brother the other day I was over and he wanted me to show him like broken spirit things mm -hmm. and uh, he, I'm just like okay I could show you the thing that basically carried me through the game mm -hmm. and uh, I was just asking just like okay so what do you got not a lot mm -hmm. oh okay oh you're talking your little brother I was like since when was uh, Kevin into Smash Bros he is not yeah like it. He's yeah. basically reserved himself to never being any good at that, and that's commendable. Mm -hmm. It makes me sad, but mm -hmm. I just want people to play Smash with. Too bad. Right? Okay, good. That does not hurt my allies. Cool, cool. I was curious because uh, the uh, skirmisher showed up in red. I, don't, I didn't dedicate her name to memory yet. Okay. Because I'm a I'm a good commander. You, new one. Yeah, you, uh, Miss Glitch. <laughs> Although I think it actually did delete one of my skirmishers, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not too upset. All right. Although I think I lost the one that I put in the uh, um, uh, green suit with the top hat. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Sir Swagums. Yeah, Sir Swagums. Yeah, so I was playing through it, and I found out oh, Terry, yeah, who just released not too long ago as of recording, mm -hmm. is one a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, and not very good in multi-mans. I can see that he is designed for a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Yeah, like the biggest part is it's hard to do like crack shoot. Yeah, because he does he turns around when you press the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. I got you. Also, crack shoot, kind of fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can't kill with it or anything. Mm hmm. But it does so much fucking damage. Okay. And not to mention, it's one of the his most reliable. Uh... I think I just revealed the pod. Oops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Oh no, I didn't. Nah. Nice. It's one of his most reliable uh, combo into. Mm hmm. Because uh, if you do the wrong moves for, like, his, uh, fist, I forget the name of it right now. Yeah. Bust a knuckle. No. Ah. Anyways. Uh, there's a little bit of a delay because he throws his arms Ow. out. Sorry. <laughs> I talk with my hands, so when I say throw my arms up, I do it just very small, and I slapped Matt. Yeah. <laughs> uh... And, uh, 
you can shield that if you do it at the right time. Are you sure you don't see anything there, yeah. buddy? Nah, he has to be over there. The computers are hiding him. Yeah. Alright, let's try this then. <laughs> You're shooting nothing, man. I'm shooting nothing. It's not gonna affect anything. It's a shame that those guys can't take fall damage. Oh no! Hmm. Did I kill... Did I kill a friend? Did, did I kill any civilians? Take those bastards down. I don't know if I did. I don't know. Mm. Everyone can wants... they survive fall damage? Yeah, they can. They should be able to at the very least. Okay. Okay, XCOM mod. That lets these boys level up with you. <laughs> there are mods that do change how they work, although most of them actually weaken uh, the uh, the resistance because when they get a kill, they don't... your soldiers don't get any XP and like, you know, sure, keeping them alive is all good and stuff, but sometimes they're a little too good. Mm, okay, that's funny. Because mm -hmm. like, they hit shots, and even though they're using the basic weapons, uh, later in the game they do get like increases in damage and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're not worthless. No, they're not. Okay. I mean, the civilians are, but the mm -hmm. actual resistance fighters aren't. Alright, civilians, but they can punch shit. <laughs> you know, that'd be cool, except for the fact that they would continuously try to punch enemies that they are. <laughs> like, imagine a guy, and he's just like, I'm gonna punch that berserker. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got my vote. Yeah? Yeah. You're telling me you wouldn't vote for someone who tried to punch the Burger Queen? You see, I wanted to vote for a corpse. <laughs> nah. That's my biggest People issue. People voted for Ronald Reagan three times. <laughs> Ooh, that's a spicy take. <laughs> uh... Don't you mean FDR? FDR was the one that... I don't know the difference. Guess... Aside from the fact that FDR was a known, not socialist, mm. but he started pushing for socialist movements, and that's why my dad hates him. Mm. Despite the fact he created, made it so unions were allowed to be a thing, and my dad's a part of a union. Mm. Gotcha. But that's a normal thing. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's funny. Mm. Uh, because FDR and, uh... Reagan are two very different. <laughs> they are, but they both got an R for a last name, and that's all that matters. <laughs> sure. Mm hmm Okay. We'll go with that. You know, our president, Reed Richards. <laughs> I would vote for Reed Richards as president. Uh, depends on the continuity. <laughs> depends on the continuity, I guess. By the way, we're about to see Portandis actually do so- Or not. <laughs> There oh, there it is. There it goes. I was confused. Concerned. Yeah, but, like, in the 60s or so? Mm -hmm. Reed Richards was a known wife beater. No, that's Hank Pym. No! Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, never mind then. Yeah, and it's really funny. The way that, uh, the comics decided to address it at the time before they retconned it out of existence. Mm-hmm was that Sue Storm wanted to just start fucking people who would treat her right. Specifically Namor. Okay. Which I don't know if you know anything about Namor, but he's the fucking worst. I was gonna say all I know about him is that he's the worst. <laughs> he's like if Aquaman was less cool. Yeah, and just more of a bastard. Mm -hmm. You know, despite the fact that Aquaman is technically a bastard. But <laughs> yeah. that's Besides the point. That is not the point we're trying to make. Uh, oh, God, Namor. <laughs> His superhero outfit is a thong. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it's lasted this long, but I think it's because they can't figure out anything else that this pompous asshole would wear. I think it's because, uh, despite the fact that Namor's still written in stories, people don't care about Namor. Who? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I like comics sometimes. Mm -hmm. Comics are fun, but comics are also stupid. Yeah. Mm. Also, we can't just let Master Chief die, but literally no one can get to him. Oh, Portandis, can you do two things in an episode? No! <laughs> I mean, it was only 26% shot, so mm -hmm. it wasn't likely. Master Chief still has all of his shield, though, doesn't he? Yeah, he still got his shield. 
Okay, so he should be safe for a minute, shouldn't he? Uh, I'm feeling that those resistance soldiers are literally just gonna move towards the other resistance crew because it's like, ah, you defeated that snake, so it's okay. Let's see if sh Shinji? Shinji. Okay, I don't know why I was struggling so much. Why does he look so glossy? He Vaselined up. Yeah. You know, he's like, I gotta get my robo bits up. I don't know. That sounded weird. <laughs> that <laughs> reminds me, actually. <laughs> yeah? Of uh, this UFC fight that happened a while ago now. Mm hmm But it was one of the biggest UFC matches that had happened in a minute. Mm hmm And uh, it was very close towards the end, and the guy ended up barely winning because the guy went for a hold and slipped off. Mm hmm And then he managed to take the guy out. Okay. But, uh... For those who were paying somewhat of any attention, mm -hmm. notice that right before that, I saw the coach run, rubbing his hands together and rubbing his hands all over the guy's body. <laughs> yeah. And if you look in other shots, they have Vaseline. Secrets. Just all over. Yeah. Is that is that legal? No. That, I was gonna say that can't be legal in like a fighting match. That's especially not in the UFC, which is mostly grappling. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, that's why most of the people in it shave their head. Okay. Fun fact. Because it's something to grab. Because mm -hmm. one of my favorite chokes, that's weird to say, <laughs> is the Monteleum. Yeah. Which, uh, if someone has hair, sucks. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's really funny. You can very easily get out. Okay. What the hell was that? That was a grenade launcher. <laughs> With shotgun rounds? Yeah. Okay. That is, that's how this grenade launcher do it. Grenade, it shotguns, grenades. That's why you're not allowed to reload. It literally just gets rid of all of your grenades. I gotcha. Mm. Except that you can shoot it three times if you have an expanded magazine. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Monster Island is great. It's yes. A choke that has no way out of it. Mm. I feel like, like I don't want to say, you know, pr prevent you from talking about your favorite grapple, but I feel like this isn't something you can explain without a visual guide. That's fair. But all I'm going to say on the matter is if they have hair, it sucks because they'll be pulling at the arm that you're using to grab their hair, but their body physically mm -hmm. will not let them get your hand off of it. Mm -hmm. Because it's just gonna, no nah, man, you're gonna pull your hair out and that's gonna suck. Mm -hmm. Take this. <laughs> now, if you're really curious, what you can do is just Google tutorials on the Monteleum. You know, whatever they teach, it's their responsibility whether or not they tell you to responsibly use it. But mm -hmm. probably, you should responsibly use it. Yeah, uh, there's actually a few classes or teachers and stuff that won't teach you how to do these chokes and shit. Mm -hmm. Chokes, period. Yeah. Until you're a black belt in jujitsu. Mm -hmm. Remember, choke responsibly. Yeah, because chokeholds are one of the most dangerous things you can teach people how to do. Yeah. Because there's a very fine line between cutting someone's oxygen off from their brain mm -hmm. and cutting someone's oxygen off from their brain. I don't think there's a line between those two, actually. Uh, see, there is a line, despite them being the same thing. There's, okay, he tapped or he passed out. Mm -hmm. And then there's, he's brain dead. Yeah. <laughs> Small, but important difference. Mm -hmm. Small, but important. Mm -hmm. Just like bees. <laughs> yeah. I was going to make a joke about somebody's penis, but I didn't have anyone up to bat, so mm -hmm. I didn't want to just tear apart a single person that I actually know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotcha. I can feel that. <laughs> uh, penis uh, jokes. Yeah. That's that's how far we've upgraded. Mm-hmm. Ah. That's that good shit. Mm. That's what people want when watching XCOM, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what people want when watching XCOM, I just like playing the game. I imagine they, that's what they like to see, you enjoying the game. Yeah. Because, uh, as someone who's watched Game Grumps at least once, I can say, watching someone not enjoy a game is very rarely funny. I... okay, cool, I guess. <laughs> like, 
it has to be certifiably terrible. Mm-hmm. Like, uh... God. I can't even think of the worst game I've played in a long time. Uh... No? I can't... Like, I would say... Fire Emblem Warriors is one of the games I've least enjoyed, but I wouldn't say that's certifiably terrible. It's just, like, only fun for, like, the first couple of hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's more fun when you have characters you like, like Minerva, but I shouldn't have bought that special edition. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Like, you don't even listen to the music from it. No. But you know, on the plus side, we both have those cards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So that's nice. Yeah, I was really hoping that it would be more like Hyrule Warriors. Mm hmm. With, you know, almost no clone characters. Yeah. Including multiple links. Yeah. Yeah. There's just too many clones. And, like, sure, Fire Emblem is mostly a strategy game, but with the people they have, you could come up with a distinct enough thing. Like, the fact that Camilla uses magic makes sense. She's a Malignite. They are. Wyvern riders that use magic. But Minerva's a pure Wyvern rider. Yeah. So, why does she use magic? I don't know. And my biggest peeve with it, period, mm -hmm. is that DLC characters mm -hmm. are clones. Yeah, like Tharja. <laughs> uh, Tharja, the one you were just talking about. Minerva. Minerva. At least Olivia's unique. Yeah. I forgot if she was DLC or not. I think she was. Yeah. Was this, No, Azura wasn't because at that point Fire Emblem loved Fates. Yeah, and now they're just trying to pretend it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Well, it's because Three Houses came out and it's been a while since, like... I mean, I'm, a, I'm an Awakening Defender, mm -hmm. but it's been a while since it's been this unanimous, oh shit, this is a really good Fire Emblem game. Yeah, because it, it took a minute for people to go... Awakening's not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's just not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That's fine. Mm -hmm. You can feel that way, baby. Mm -hmm. But as long as we can all agree that Fates was not at all what we were promised, mm -hmm. we're good. And, uh, well, I mean, you don't have to agree, but Three Houses is real good. I like Three Houses a lot. I haven't played it. Yeah. I've heard good things about it. The pros, Zed... ZD. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's currently on his fifth playthrough of it. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, a Berserker did three damage and that's it? Yeah. Okay. It's because it doesn't count as melee. Mm -hmm. No, nah, it, it, it's because it missed, which I didn't know Berserkers did damage when they missed, so that's cool. Yeah, that sucks, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's like... Well, it's a good thing you've played 538 hours. 36. 36 hours. After today's recording, 38. Mm-hmm. Uh, 538 hours. That, that's how you found out? I say that's not bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we don't need that Berserker anymore, because he's gonna, he's gonna turn back any second, so... Okay. We will miss you, son. We will miss you, Zerk. <laughs> gonna get the Zerk. You know, I was just thinking about StarCraft history and its history with uh, Warhammer 40k. They have a history together? Um, yeah, kind of. So, you know what a Zergling is, or you know what the Zerg are, right? Yeah. So, the Zerg are actually based off of a race in Warhammer 40k, which I actually don't remember what that race is called. The cause... Berg. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh... Because I'm not a, I'm not I'm not too terribly into Warhammer 40k. I would like to, but just like it's it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And you have to paint your own figures. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. But uh, after StarCraft release, this race that uh, the Zerg were based off of actually became a lot more Zerg-like. <laughs> uh, you know, inspiration breeds inspiration. Mm-hmm. Uh, but fun fact, there's a thing in Super that made me think that. Yeah? Uh, you know in Yu Yu Hakusho, the Dragon of the Darkness Flame? Yeah. Well, he can shoot it out and then it'll go into him and it'll get all powerful and aura mm -hmm. And everyone's like, that's clearly a Dragon Ball Z reference. Mm -hmm. And in Dragon Ball Super Battle of the Gods, they charge their energy and dragons come out 
and go into them and they get really more powerful and it's never explained aside from the fact I'm 100% sure it's a Yu Hakusho reference. I could see that. I mean, the guy who made Yu Hakusho, he's just like, you know what, I'm just gonna play, uh, I forget if it's Dragon Quest or something else whenever a new one comes out and he decides to take a hiatus. Mm -hmm. I think it is Dragon Quest. I could see that. <laughs> but that's also a Kira Toriyama, so... Yeah. <laughs> Which, I love the story so much of his wife saying that if he didn't finish Dragon Ball Z, he wouldn't be allowed to play the next Dragon Quest. <clears throat> because he was spending too much time playing the old Dragon Quest. That's funny. <laughs> it's like, hey, imagine like a chef <laughs> that's just making desserts and then they're just like, hey, you have to make dinner and eat it before <laughs> I'll let you make another dessert. No! <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure there's better analogies, but that's the analogy that came to mind. No, I like it. That's a great analogy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, fun facts. Mm-hmm. Fun cat facts. There's no cat facts, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. You can't pet the cats in Dragon Quest. Oh, bad game. Bad then game. again, it took DLC for you to be able to <laughs> pet the cats and dogs in Fire Emblem, so... Okay game? Okay game. Like, they gave us the option. Yeah. Oh, they gave you the option if you want to spend money to mm. pet cats. I mean, what else is there to spend money on? Ah, uh, maid outfits, I guess. I mean, that's also in the game, so... Yeah, I know, because someone's just like, Ooh, I guess I'm playing Fire Emblem again. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I'm waiting for uh, the additional, like, actual story missions. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, I just feel like... Uh, right now, I don't have time to play Fire Emblem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get more into Twitter. The thing is, I don't have anything going on in my life. Yeah. So it's just like, I'm just gonna tweet, you know, I'm at work. Yeah. And I really don't want to be that guy. Yeah, that's fair enough. Because I'm pretty sure nobody cares. I mean, I'm not the guy to ask, but if you were to ask me, not anything on you personally, like, fucking, unless it's, uh, uh, let's, let's say a random celebrity, uh... Will Smith. Unless it's Will Smith, like, I'm gonna say a random celebrity that I'm, that I haven't seen in a movie recently. Uh, Zac Efron. Sure. If, if Zac Efron's like, I'm going to work, I'm like, oh, what's Zac Efron gonna be in? Yeah. Because, like, Will Smith... If he's saying, I'm going to work, I know what, I, I mean, I don't know specifically what movie he's working on, but he's, he's been doing some movies. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's try it. You know, famous YouTuber, Will Smith. Famous YouTuber, Will Smith. <laughs> Along with famous YouTuber, Jack Black. Okay, if Jack Black's like, I'm going to work, I'm like, okay, is he playing Fortnite, <laughs> Battle Royale? But it, and it did work. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I still think it's the funniest thing that PewDiePie had a crossover with Jack Black. Mm-hmm. But the world we live in. That's an episode. That is an episode. Did you get perfect? I did. Mostly because of Portandis' shield. People did get attacked. Okay. Yeah. So Portandis did something this time. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Bye.